Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today, we're gonna try to fix this the best I can. Um, I'm hoping that the wood is not too rotted under there. I think that's what originally caused the problem, but we'll see as we start tearing into it. kind of see looks like they replaced the plywood at one point and this whole corner is rotted I went up inside and I unscrewed all the screws that were holding it from the top, or at least all the ones I think were holding it from the top. So it should just come down now. All right, I see what happened here. You can kind of see this is all pressed together. So there's, um, there's paneling and then there's paneling and then there's board and it was pressed together. And you can kind of see it's right there. It runs along the side here, but all this started getting rotted. So then you can kind of see where they scabbed on two by threes. That's a two by four, another two by three. And then they just, once they kind of fix it, they just put this paneling over the top of it, put the siding back. And I think that's why it originally fell down. So at some point, I think this whole front collapsed and somebody replaced it. All right, uh, I took some measurements and I think I got everything that I need. So I'm gonna go get everything and then uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it back tonight. Uh, probably not tonight and it, I'll probably have to come back in the morning but uh, should be able to finish this up tomorrow I'm thinking. How are you?
that's uh i think where the siding is gonna lap over and seam i'm gonna do like a two by four right here down the side so it'll have something to screw into and i'm gonna do the same thing right here next to this one This is just temporary to hold the, this back, but I put these metal strips in so they hold weight all the way up to the top plate, which was carrying some weight before, and then it brings it down and then just carries it and spreads it through these supports. You can see right there as well. And that should help the front from trying to separate and come down at all in the future. Um, I also have screws, big six inch screws going in from the side all the way in and it sucked this wall up real nice and tight and it is, it is nice. Like it looks, it looks rotted right here, but it's not as in like you go up just a little ways and it's not rotted. So it's just like surface rot, but this wall is now secure. I'm pretty excited with it. I think it's going to be better than I expected. Hey guys, day three. Uh, I it's weird, it's like I could have got this done probably one day, but I have been just so busy that I've only been able to have a couple hours each day to work on it. Um, so this is day three, and I'm actually heading to go get some sheet metal to replace the siding on the bottom because I damaged the siding that was there originally. This is a couple of days even past me picking up that diamond plate aluminum um, but i have to get this project done today so it's getting done today even though you can kind of tell up in the distance uh if it's off and on raining today um i hope i really don't get rained on but also uh as i was doing the editing this week i noticed that this board right here i did not glue whenever i put it up <laughs> probably should have glued this one as well but uh I guess I'm just gonna have to take those back down, glue them, and then put them back, and then I can go ahead and put the diamond plate up, is the plan.
It's hailing. I'm hiding out under the, the truck camper here, but my feet are getting wet and everything else getting wet. Got the corner sealed up. The trim will cover most of that. I got the back siding stapled into place. Got this corner done. So that front nose should be pretty good now. I stapled along this edge, which wasn't stapled very good last time. So now it's just uh, time to cover this area right here with that diamond plate.
Somebody must have been, you know, 20 or so deep into a 30 pack when they caulked this thing before. Um, I've kind of gotten to a point to where I'm not, I don't even really try to make it look pretty because they just did such a horrible job on the entire camper that there's just no help unless I decide to take the time to take all the old stuff off and then redo it all, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm um, just gonna seal it up the best I can. What do you think? I think it looks good. Well, I mean, as good as it can for such an old junky camper. Um, I feel a lot more confident that the front end is not gonna fall apart right now. Even though I still, I mean, even though I'm a contractor, uh, I don't understand how these things are held together. There's not a lot of support out here, at least on this one particular one. Uh, I don't know, but it's holding and whatever, as long as it's holding for now. But uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sticking this out and watching this one. Next week we'll be camping and uh, I'll see you guys then. Thanks, bye.